What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Crafts Baseball card break. And today we are going to do day two of our Fairfield box break. They say one and eight contains a hit. We may have used that up in the first box that we did. We got ourselves a Jason Botts Bowman autograph card from 2001, I believe. So we are going to take another crack at this to see what we can come up with. Obviously, they've done a really good job. And we had it yesterday where we had to break into this. So we're going to go a different route this time. We're going to try to take it from the bottom because that's where all the cards were. We'll see if we can pop it open and get ourselves something from this end. So let's see how this is going to work here. And we'll slide that open. And there you have it. That is the easy way to do it. Got a different pack today, so I'm interested to see what exactly we ended up getting in this box. We have some different cards. We have some score cards. So let's see what we are going to be able to get. We see there's nothing left in the box. And the pack this time is an opening day 2021, so that's kind of cool. We got an opening day. We'll save that to the end. I never did any opening day this year, so kind of neat to see what we got. So we'll kick it off with an Oral Hershizer. That's the first one. We've got ourselves, that looks like it could be a Bowman card. And it's a Bowman of Kenta Maeda. And that is Bowman, what year is that? 2018, I believe, 2017 Bowman. That's kind of cool. There's a Justin Smoke card with the Toronto Blue Jays. That's 2019 Tops Series 2. We follow that up with a Lance McCullers of the Padres. Of course, the father of Lance McCullers, the pitcher for the Houston Astros. Lenny Dykstra for the New York Mets. There is Danny Heap for the Boston Red Sox. That's followed up by Mackie Sasser of the Mets. There's the surgery himself, Tommy John. How about Melito Perez? There's Melito Perez. Always had a pretty good flow going on back in the day, Melito. And then we have Gene Harris of the Seattle Mariners. We flip that around. We got a Bill Madlock 1986 card, a little bit worn on the corners. 1986, kind of cool Mad Dog card. There's Gary Sheffield. We got a Paul Coleman. He was a first round pick back in the day. Never really became much at the major league level. There is Luis Polonia for the Angels. We got Bob Ojeda. And we follow that up with the Dodgers. We've got Fernando Valenzuela. And it looks like Pedro Guerrero, I think, on that one. Or is that Eddie Murray? I'm pretty sure that's Pedro, but. Somebody I'm sure will let us know in the comments section. There is a checklist card. We have a Felix Jose. Felix Fermin. And then we flip over the upper deck and we've got a Mackie Assasser. Kind of cool, Mackie Assasser. Tony Payne. Yeah, we got another 86. Max Venable. Cincinnati Reds. Flip this over and we've got ourselves a Pete Incavilia card. There's Danny Gladden of the Twins. And who do we have here? I think that's the or flipped over card. Philadelphia Phillies pitcher, and that would be Ricky Botalico. That's kind of cool, the way it flashes on that side. That's neat. What year was that? It looks like it could be a Fleer or a Pinnacle type of card. And that one is... Not really sure. I have to see what that is. It looks like it could be... I say, it could be Fleer or Pinnacle. It has all the markings of that. I'm sure somebody will leave a message in the comment section. There's Kevin Moss, Houston Astros. Shane Raleigh, the Phillies. Brett Saberhagen of the Royals. There's Ken Howell for the Phillies. Ron Darling of the Mets. Don Carmen of the Phillies. There's a Hall of Famer in John Schmoltz. John Schmoltz card. We've got a Lance Blankenship. There's Kevin Brown. There's Keith Comstock. Follow that up with a Bob Ojeda card. Hey, it looks like we got another Hall of Famer on the back of this, and it's certainly not Dan Shanseeder. We got ourselves a Barry Larkin, Barry Larkin of the Reds. Flip over, we've got a Billy Aspire card of the Brew Crew. Alex Trevino of the Houston Astros. Mike Diaz of the Pirates. What do we have over here? We've got ourselves a Scott Sanderson. Craig Nettles of the Braves. Don Carmen of the Phillies. Hey, there's Stu Clyburn. Stu Clyburn was coaching in the Independent League. I think in the American Association, if I'm not mistaken. Stu Clyburn, 86 Angels. Dennis Oil Can Boyd for the Expos. There's Brad Moore of the Phillies. We finish off with some Fleer. I like the look of these Fleer cards. These were pretty cool back in the day. That's Rob Deere. 
It's an 87 Fleer, Rob Deere, Jim Deshays. He had a couple good years. And Dave Henderson. So that's not bad. Kind of cool throwbacks. Need to look at those old ones. And now we're going to look at the opening day 2021. What can we get out of opening day? I pulled a hit a couple of years ago. I pulled a Billy the Marlin autograph card. Kind of got a kick out of it because it was probably the autograph card that I sold for the most at that time. So who do we have here? We got Jose Ramirez. There's Gavin Lux, future star card. We got ourselves a Ozzy Albies opening day, of course. And we've got Dinger, who had some controversy last year. The person was yelling Dinger. We've got Glaber Torres. Jordan Alvarez, not a rookie. And then we've got Miguel Rojas, the shortstop for the Marlins. Well, there you have it, everybody. Let us know what you think of this Fairfield pack. That's for five bucks. If you thought it was worth it, let us know. If you don't think it was worth it, give us a thumbs down. Who knows? But tell us what you think in the comment section. That's another Fairfield blast. That's day number two of our road trip with the Fairfield. Once again, everybody, watch another Last Drops Baseball video production. We hope you all have a great day. Come on back and see us again later. We're going to do it all over again.